Egyptian President al-Sisi chose a grandiose setting to bring together over 30 heads of state and presidents of international institutions. In October, they all traveled to Egypt to attend a peace summit in the country's new administrative capital. Unfortunately, no solution to the dramatic events underway in Israel and the Gaza Strip was found. Despite this gloomy outlook in a region plagued by the horror of war, this international meeting enabled Marshal al-Sisi to put forward one of the most impressive construction projects on the African continent. The construction of a new capital for the country, located less than 50 kilometers from Cairo, a place built for records and excess that could lead Egypt to bankruptcy. And that's what we're going to see today in this new episode of Looking For. Under construction since 2016, Sissy City, as it's often nicknamed, is the ambitious wish of the man who has ruled the country since 2013, Abdel Fattah al-Sisi. The president wants to leave his mark on the country. To do so, he is multiplying pharaonic constructions, widening the Suez Canal, building infrastructure, or more recently, constructing the world's largest artificial river. There are plenty of major projects, but the construction of this new city remains the most ambitious project currently underway in Egypt. The aim is to relieve the congestion of Cairo, an overcrowded megacity with over 22 million people. A sprawling city that continues to welcome around 2 million people every year, further saturating its public services and leading to anarchic urban development. The immense pyramids of Giza, 15 kilometers south of the capital, are being overtaken by the creation of new residential districts around the site. To solve this problem, President al-Sisi announced in 2015 the construction of a new capital, designed to accommodate nearly 6 million people and located 45 kilometers to the east of this global city. We already talked about this on the channel in a first video almost two years ago, I've included the link to that video in the description, and I recommend that you go and watch it to see just how far we've come. Because in just two years, this nameless capital has radically changed its face. Since then, a large part of this new city has emerged from the desert. A number of emblematic buildings and infrastructures now take their place on the 700 square kilometers dedicated to this new capital a real playground, seven times larger than Paris. All of this for a colossal budget estimated at between 52 and 60 billion dollars. Here, nothing seems too good or too big. The site is home to the Church of the Nativity. Inaugurated in 2019, this cathedral is presented as the largest in the Middle East. Another XXL religious building is the al Fatah al-Alim Mosque. Here, too, the building is said to hold a record. It is the largest mosque in the country and one of the largest on the African continent. This new city aims to be global. In fact, it takes its cue from today's attractive Gulf cities, such as Dubai. A huge business district filled with some 20 skyscrapers is currently being finalized. The tallest of these will be the symbol of this new modernity the iconic tower, a building of spectacular dimensions. 77 floors spread over a height of more than 390 meters. This immense tower is designed to house not only offices, but also residential units and a luxury hotel. This monolith is a direct reference to the obelisks of ancient Egypt. At the helm of the project, the international consulting firm Share and Partners for the design and the Chinese company CSSEC for the construction. Officially launched in May 2018, construction of this huge tower is almost complete and it is due to be inaugurated in 2024. It will then become the tallest building in Africa and one of the top 40 tallest buildings in the world. But the creation of this city also involves investment in cultural facilities, such as a library designed to hold some 5 million books or a spectacular opera house built entirely of marble. These facilities are either under construction or closed for the time being. 
At the same time, a huge road and rail infrastructure should make it easy to get around in this city, built from scratch in the desert. Sport will not be left out either, with the construction of a huge Olympic city. This huge sports city will feature a new 80,000-seat stadium and numerous sports facilities. It will also have housing to accommodate athletes from all over the world. A city within the city which, for its part, has a name the Egypt International Olympic City. This focus on infrastructure also has a long-term goal, the Olympic and Paralympic Games. The country would like to be the first African country to host this major competition by 2036 to 2040. Finally, the new capital is to house Egypt's governing institutions. And here too, gigantism is the order of the day. The new defense headquarters is proof of this. This new military building will be the largest of its kind in the world when it comes into service. It will even surpass the famous Pentagon, which performs the same function in the USA. On the political side, the move is also underway. An impressive parliament and some 30 ministries from all over Egypt are in the process of being built. For the time being, in this new administrative capital, some of the buildings that will house the ministries are almost finished, and employees are even starting to come and work there. This has been the case, for example, for the Ministry of Tourism and Antiquities since the spring. For the time being, most employees are traveling back and forth from Cairo. According to the Chinese state media CGTN, these employees are eligible for financial assistance to cover their travel expenses. They may also receive financial assistance in the form of a loan to purchase local housing. This information needs to be put into perspective, however, because while many homes have already been built, most are priced beyond the reach of the majority of Egyptians. According to estimates for 2021, the price per square meter in residential complexes starts at between 9,000 and 10,000 Egyptian pounds or the equivalent of $450 to $500. A hefty sum for many in this country, where more than one in three people live below the poverty line. Worse still, inflation is soaring, with prices rising by over 30% a year. Under these conditions, most people are seeing their purchasing power decline. A note from the International Food Policy Research Institute even indicates that 47% of Egyptians have been forced to cut back on their food consumption as a result of this economic situation. Against this backdrop, it's hard to believe that millions of Egyptians will be able to rent or buy an apartment in this new capital, an alarming situation that runs counter to one of the project's main goals. Indeed, in its initial plan, the city proposes a functional zoning with 21 residential areas. These areas should accommodate some 6 million residents and help relieve Cairo's traffic congestion. But this situation could soon become problematic for the authorities. Those who have already bought property are mostly foreigners and have no intention of living there, as a source who prefers to remain anonymous explained to the newspaper Liberation. While some properties are bought by foreign investors once they've been built, international investors in this new capital have not been forthcoming. At the presentation of the project in 2015, the Egyptian president spoke of numerous financial contributions from all over the world to complete this immense construction. Three countries were identified, the United Arab Emirates, Saudi Arabia, and China. But in reality, the situation is different. In fact, the Emiratis and Saudis were more interested in acquiring shares in Egypt's strategic sectors, such as agriculture. And Saudi Arabia also has its major project for a new city, or even a new region, with Neom. This futuristic creation, which we've already talked about on the channel, is already requiring a huge financial effort on the part of the country. According to some experts, it will cost several hundred billion or even more than $1,000 billion to build Neom entirely. Finally, China has gone back on some of its promises. 
it has drastically reduced its share of investment in the new Egyptian capital, focusing its financial contribution primarily on the construction of the business district. As we saw with the iconic tower, many Chinese companies and workers are involved in this project. The Egyptian government had to guarantee the finances of this mega-project by getting out the checkbook. These massive investments only serve to reinforce the country's fragile economic situation. These investments have directly contributed to a considerable increase in Egypt's debt. It now stands at over $160 billion. An enormous figure that puts the country in a weak position on international markets. Economic observers doubt that the state will ever be able to repay such a large sum. For the time being, the capital continues to take shape, if not really come to life. Al-Sisi intends to see his pharaonic project through whatever the cost. In early October, Egypt's president officially announced that he would stand for a third term in the forthcoming presidential elections. And there is no doubt in the minds of the country's observers that he will be elected. All right, that's all for today. I hope you enjoyed this video. If so, feel free to give a like and subscribe to the channel. Thank you for watching and see you soon on Looking 4. Goodbye.